planets within a searing distance of only 1.2 million kilometers, only about three times the distance of the moon from the Earth. What does this mean? Well, comets throughout history have proven notoriously unpredictable. We don't know enough about comets' strength and composition to be certain of the final result as a sun-grazing comet approaches our star. But we do know which outcomes are possible. As comet icing draws near the sun, it may do nothing, simply travel around the sun and leave. It may not survive its flyby around the sun, evaporating without a trace. It may produce a breathtaking tail as it screams by, or it could break up into pieces. with loops around the sun. Two years ago, meteor experts Esko Lightman of Finland and Peter Jeniskens at NASA Ames Research Center announced that Earth was due for an encounter with debris from Comet 209P Linear. Streams of dust ejected by the comet mainly back in the 1800s would cross Earth's orbit on May 24, 2014. The result, they said, could be a significant meteor outburst that would provide an exciting but harmless light show in the night sky. Other experts agreed, in part. There is a broad consensus among forecasters that Earth will indeed pass through the debris streams on May 24th. However, no one is sure how much debris is waiting. It all depends on how active the comet was more than a century ago, when the debris streams were laid down. We have no idea what the comet was doing in the 1800s, says Cook. As a result of the uncertainty, there could be a great meteor shower or a complete dud. The best time to look is during the hours between 6 and 8 universal time on May 24th, or between 2 and 4 o'clock in the morning Eastern Daylight Time. That's when an ensemble of forecast models say Earth is most likely to encounter the comet's debris. North Americans are favored because for them, the peak occurs during nighttime hours, while the radiant is high in the sky. We expect these meteors to radiate from a point in Camelopardalis, also known as the Giraffe, a faint constellation near the North Star we continues. It will be up all night long for anyone who wishes to watch throughout the night. Indeed, that might be a good idea. Because this is a new meteor shower, surprises are possible. Outbursts could occur hours before or after the forecasted peak. In case of a dud, there is a consolation prize. On May 24th, the crescent moon and Venus are converging for a tight conjunction the next morning on May 25th. Look for them rising together just ahead of the sun in the eastern sky at dawn. That's a nice way to start the day, says Cook, meteors or not. For more news about surprising events in the night sky, stay tuned to science.nasa.gov.